are heart attacks hereditary? You know, they, they tend to be, but not everybody. Somebody's the first in every family to do everything. <laughs> okay. But they, they very much tend to be. And research has shown that in the population in America as a whole, about a third of people are at very high risk for cardiovascular events, heart attacks, stroke, one third. Okay. About one third have almost no risk at all. Mm. And then the middle third is moderate, I would say. Okay. Now, if you win the genetic lottery <laughs> and you come in with very low risk, that doesn't guarantee you that if you uh, go through life and ignore everything that you're going to not have problems. You still need to kind of pay attention to your body and try to keep your weight down and be active and pay attention to your blood pressure and those things. But there are individuals, about 30, 33 percent of people, who seem almost to be immune uh, right. to, to uh, cardiovascular events. And obviously a lot of people are doing a lot of studies mm -hmm. on those individuals to find out why are they different. But it does seem to be, a lot of it seems to be their DNA, their genetics. And, you know, there are centers now at some major universities, the University of Minnesota has one mm -hmm. called the Rasmussen Center, where they screen people and do a wide variety of tests, and they try to sit down with you after the tests and after you fill out a questionnaire and tell you, are you in the, the uh, good third, the bad <laughs> okay. third, or, or in the middle? Mm -hmm. And uh, it really can be a, a very important thing for you to know. So I think we as individuals can all go to a major center like that. It is very important for us to take inventory of our mm -hmm. ancestors, mm -hmm. our parents, our siblings, our grandparents and aunts and uncles. And if there is a lot of heart disease and stroke and vascular disease in your family, you are at higher risk than the norm. If there's not much at all, mm -hmm. good for you, but you still need to take good care of yourself. And the people in the middle third, they just have to pay attention to lifestyle and take inventory, as you say. Right, right. And they, and they, I think the people in the middle third and the, definitely the people in the top third or the right. bottom third, however you look at the high <laughs> risk third, really need to pay attention to the risk factors. They need to be pretty conscientious about checking their blood pressure and their cholesterol, exercise, diet, nutrition, look at what supplements they want to take. Uh, if they have prescription medications, make mm -hmm. sure they take them and, and really pay a lot of attention to that and uh, educate themselves about what they can do nutritionally through exercise and if needed prescription medications to lower their risk. Obviously we can't change our genetic profile. Some of us would like to get rid of some of our family mm -hmm. uh, if we could, but we can't change that as yet. But the day may come when that will be something that, that may be uh, available to us. But if you're in that high risk or in moderate risk group, you really need to do risk factor control. Risk factor control. Correct. Thank you, Dr. Thompson.